Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of the Serie A round uh, I think it was 23 and also we have a little bit Coppa Italia the round of 16 is completed so we will have to talk about that one as well just uh, if I look a little bit distracted I have the Fcon on here while I'm recording this but you know I hope it's uh, gonna go fine fine uh, First off, before we go into any games, I in a way find myself a little bit um, not feeling my love for the Serie A at this time. I think it has to do with the, the, the title, that there's no real title race and everything else. I, this weekend especially, I mean, uh, almost everything I watched from Serie A was a level below. This was a more AFCON level. Almost FCOM uh, level, and, no, and nothing else. I love the FCOM, yeah. Please don't uh, get this wrong, but you know, the level of play was definitely a step below than what I've seen in other uh, leagues. And that coming of like we had just two weeks ago, uh, this great uh, uh, Juve win at Roma and all that, that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm going a little bit cold at the moment on Serie A, and it definitely has also to do. As I said, that the title race is kind of really fizzling out. Milan, uh, not so good. And I, if I look, look at schedule, I, I'm longing for an away game again. Uh, in a way, but also the rest is uh, it's it's a little bit of a mess. Um, so yeah, we had now the second weekend in a row where the top game ended nil nil, and while last weekend's Atalanta Inter game was actually entertaining. None of the two nil nils were all that much. But before we go there, uh, by the way, I decided, yes, Roma played in red at Empoli, which uh, did surprise me. And so I decided I still kind of uh, give a little bit more cover splash uh, and I'm going to wear my beautiful white uh, from two seasons ago. Uh, absolutely love this shirt. Okay. Coppa Italia. Uh, this time I watched a whole lot less. I mean, last time around I saw highlights from all three games. I only watched highlights of one game, and that was Inter against Empoli. It was a very remarkable game, it has to be, has, 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 has to be said, because despite Inter taking a lead and large, large, large being, being better, Empoli had the lead. Lay, lay it on the Cutrone, Milan, <laughs> youth academy product. It was about to get the winner. If it wasn't for defender Ranocchio with a kind of a scissor kick, getting an equalizer and then intervening in extra time. But that's kind of, you know, uh, this is also a damning thing. You feel that Inter at the moment is not at its highest level and it would need a real challenger to kind of reignite this league again. But if a um, Inter that is not playing great, uh, great is still getting the wins, whereas the other teams cannot really catch up. Kills at the league. Uh, you were former Nova Sartoris, Solo Cagliari, uh, Inter and Roma move on. So, I mean, there were hardly any surprises if, unless you see Fior Fiorentina's destruction at Na Napoli. We already have the quarterfinal matchups, uh, which also, I mean, uh, it's twice Milan uh, against Rome, Milan Lazio, Inter, Roma. I think fan base wise, I am okay with the way this goes, and Atalanta Fiorentina. Could be a fun one if both had the height and then you with a solo. Um, yeah, there was something exactly. So, yeah, uh, it is not uninteresting this cup, but well, what I don't like is that again, there will be within a short period of time the San Siro pitch will be uh, plowed over twice with probably the marquee matchups of that round. So, Going into Serie A, I mean, Hellas Verona came behind against Bologna, uh, actually followed that game, uh, TNT beat him, Orsolini gave Bologna the lead, Caprari equalized, and then very late, late on, it was, it was kind of fizzling away, very long, Karl Kalinic gave Verona a win, and Verona, you know, uh, did, uh, this is the other thing, there are a few exciting sides in Serie A, especially in midfield, but none of them will ever challenge for European spots, which is also not that great, so yeah. You see, uh, Genoa first game after um, Sheva, 0-0 against Udine, uh, Inter, another similar performance again. Venezia had the lead through Henri, yes, it was a little bit lucky. Barella gets an equalizer and yeah, it was an all-out assault from Inter, but not that it was kind of 
you know, Inter did not play great, but they created more chances and Venezia just wanted to hang on and then very late on Checo scores the winner. Um, yeah, I, it came right at the time. I remember this was Saturday early evening. I had watched already a whole lot and I took a break and then I just uh, checked my results. And there were uh, many occasions, uh, big results come, come coming up and then in the end nothing happened. I mean, there was... Uh, Southampton was up against City, we had Inter and Venezia playing only 1-1, I think Celta had a Tony lead at Sevilla. Um, so yeah, and then in the end none of the games actually really delivered the big surprise. Uh, I wanted to watch Lazio against Atalanta and I in the end decided I'm gonna watch a movie with my wife and this was 100% the right choice. What a boring game, even the highlights were boring. So. Glad I did not watch that one, which is so disappointing because uh, these games within Lazio and Atalanta have been fire as of late. Uh, and on Sunday again, not much. I mean, now Napoli or Salentino for one, Fiorentina again, not a, uh, not a win. Uh, so they're also fearfacing out. Torino, a credible 1 1 draw against Sassuolo, one, I have to say. Uh, Sampdoria loses the Ligurian derby against Spezia. As I said, Empoli uh, lose at home 4 2 to Roma, with Roma being 4 0 up at the half. Tam Abraham, Oliveira, and Zaniolo uh, in a very short period of time, 24 to 37, scored the four goals, and Empoli pulled two back. But um, for once, Roma actually kind of convincing. Again, found the jersey matchup a little bit weird, uh, blue against red, but hey, so so be it. I think it's not a it's not a bad one because you know I, I am I'm in favor of color v, v color matchups, but I thought that the blue and the dark red are a little bit too dark. But yeah, with HDTV you can do it. And what can I say about Milan Juve? What an amazingly boring game in many ways. Juve was good for the first 15 minutes. Uh, I think right from the get-go they tried to put Milan under pressure, Milan needed some time to uh, settle and then um, the only danger came when Leao had the ball or when Theo uh, just got going and it all looked still kind of alright as long as Ibra was on there. In the 28th minute Ibra has to come off. Giroud comes on and then all I can say is that they, Milan Though the better team and definitely closer to the win to Juve. I mean, Juve did not have a shot on the opponent's goal the entire second half. But Milan were not threatening either all that much because they were offensively uh, incompatible and incapable. That's the, uh, that's the only way to describe it. I mean, and, and it was uh, when Theo came and got through, uh, you know, sometimes I wish he would, he would have taken a shot, but it was always there's a great builder play and then the last or second to last pass uh, goes mi missing and very 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 often it was uh, Giroud either um, pulled, 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 pulled back, back someone very 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 not on the same page or Giroud is not in, in position or whatever it just didn't leak, uh, look good uh, and uh, you know the only one that really enjoyed that one was probably K K K Kalini who could hold Milan at bay and the only others that enjoyed it were the Napolis, the Atalantas and of course the Intos because that basically means that Inter is now through with the title in many ways. So yeah, uh, really, really sad in many ways. Um, the title is gone. I mean, we'll see in the upcoming year. There's a one last teeny chance of pulling, pegging Inter back maybe, but the way it looks, it looks like Inter has a four point lead and then uh, three, po three points in hand uh, because they probably will win at Bologna. So the 90% for Inter look actually quite reasonable there. I would even say that the top four at the moment are at the moment the four best teams in Italy. Yes, I don't think Juve is there yet, but it remains it remains to be seen. Even down on the on, on, on the table, a Genoa and Salernitana seem to be foregone conclusions. I think Sampdoria will fall into this race, and then it's Venezia, Cagliari, and Sampdoria for the last spot. Even there is not too much excitement. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I want to be excited about Serie I'm usually very excited about Serie but at the moment I'm just not. I hope it will change. We have an international break come, coming up and when we come back, we have last gap chance, Inter against Milan. I hate the scheduling for Serie for, for Inter uh, Milan played now in January, uh, you know, in within one month they play. played Roma, they played Juventus and now they have to play against Inter. What's that scheduling? Um, 
I hate it on many accounts because the first account is, of course, uh, this uh, cuts right into the American football season where I want to watch a little bit more games. It also, you know, uh, in January I sometimes watch a little bit more skiing, but, you know, if you have such good old games, I will always go for soccer. So I'm a little bit more, uh, I'm also annoyed by that. <laughs> I'm very annoyed today in many ways. Um, there is also Fiorentina Lazio a little bit later. I think this is a little bit of a sleeper matchup. And I want to say Juve Verona. I think Verona could do something against Juve. Verona is a very well coached team uh, around this time. But you know, it's all about the Milan der uh, Derby. And that is on Saturday at 6 o'clock. At least this is the information I got from the Serie A website. Um, makes it a little bit early, but I think it's because of Champions League potentially or a cup title. I don't know. We have to see how it goes. Any case, yeah, that was it for me from uh, this uh, weekend of Serie A. I really would like to know how you feel about Serie A at the moment. Um, or if you have similar observations as I do, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!